Hello Virgo and welcome to your August 2019 monthly reading. This is for Virgo. What is going on with Virgo? I am happy to let you all know that you can now follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Secret Tarot 1111. Be careful, there are some imposters out there, so I will leave the links below down in the description box for you, okay? This is for Virgo for August 2019. What is going on with Virgo? What is going on with Virgo for August 2019? If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Virgo, August 2019. What is going on with Virgo? What is going on with Virgo for August 2019? Okay. Mm, I'm seeing, woo, I'm seeing new, wow, okay. This is so good so far. This is good so far. I love it. Ooh, we are watching each other. Oh my God. So there is a potential new beginning in the atmosphere. And it is a soulmate connection here, Virgo. We're watching each other, okay? So we got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and we've got the Queen. So to me, and this has been happening quite frequently with these August 2019 monthly readings, so we're just going to go for it. We're, we're um, meeting some soulmates, apparently, this time of year. So I feel like this could be somebody you go to school with, you go to work with, somebody that's on the same page as you, that kind of energy, right? Who else got this combination? I cannot remember. But this is a potential new beginning between two like-minded soulmate type individuals, okay? Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whenever the masculine and the feminine come up, and I've said this like, three times now in these August 2019 readings. Whenever the masculine and the feminine um, of the same suit come up in a reading, to me that is a very strong soulmate connection. So both of you are very career-minded, very goal-focused, very down-to-earth energies, right? So I'm seeing um, two people on, on the same page here okay but um we're kind of feeling each other out all right we're kind of going back and forth um somebody one of you and i feel like maybe it's the more masculine of the two is a little bit closed off emotionally okay this is a lot of waiting and wa and watching and hoping that you know the situation doesn't fall apart kind of a situation. This is um, slow growth. Uh, this is a beautiful reading here. What's behind this King of Pentacles? Ooh, look at there. Page of Cups. So this is, you know, we're starting off slow. We're start, starting off this emotional communication very slowly. But this is, you know, hey, how you doing? Um... Would you like to go out for a drink? That kind of thing. So it's a very slow, progressive look. We're looking for long-term And I laugh because we got the masculine, right? And we've got the feminine, both wanting the same things, okay? Stable new beginnings, grounded new beginnings here, okay? Both of you are looking at them pinnacles like, okay. So one of you's got the offer, the other one's thinking about the offer, and um, 
the only thing that is slowing this situation down even further is somebody's not being uh, very open emotionally, okay? That's the only thing. Could be both of you. But we, we the goal is the same between the two of you. I told you, very like-minded people here, okay? So let me get this back up here. So, yeah, this is very, very good. And behind that, this is a new beginning in love. It's just going to take a little time because we're dealing with very grounded energies, very serious people. So they watch and they they wait. They really think things through. Is this going to go anywhere? I'm seeing aces. Aces, aces. I'm seeing, yeah, page of cups. This is going to be, you know, a slow offer, a little offer. Let's get to know each other, that kind of thing. Okay, but this is new beginnings new beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings in love. It's, this is, we're in it for the long haul. We're feeling each other out, Virgo, and I like it. All right, before we get any deeper into this, I just want to say that um, if the sign of the person that you are dealing with will be dealing with or have dealt with, if their sign pops up, then all the better, right? Time is fluid. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So we got something going on here. All right, so not only are there two aces floating around back here, right? But we've got taking a risk on a potential new beginning right here at the heart of this reading. Somebody's not taking a risk though, okay? But it's, it's slow growth. We got the Empress card here. This is Taurus, this is Libra. So this is the potential for a new beginning. We're going to nurture this situation. We're going to watch it grow. Um, just like the empress here that's sitting on her throne, she is pregnant, okay? I'm not saying you're pregnant. Do not panic. What I am saying here is just like a baby in your belly, that takes time to grow. And so is this situation. We are currently feeling each other out here, Virgo. Okay, um, but both are very uh, on the same page in wanting long term commitments here. Okay, so and balance this is at the root of the reading. This is somebody that can provide balance. This is equal. The two of you are very equal to each other. Okay, we have mutual respect, we have reciprocity. Once the feelings start to flow, I feel like that's going to be balanced as well. That's just, that's going to take some time. All right. So six of pentacles here at the root of this reading. I think you've met your match, Virgo. And I think I just found the title of this reading. I think you've met your match. Woo. All right. Six of pentacles, more earth energy here. This is somebody... Uh, who's been waiting and watching, waiting and watching, and uh, making plans about the future, seeing you in their future, you're seeing them in your future, that kind of thing, okay? Three of Wands, this is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel both of you are turning your back on past situations, and we're going for all this newness. We're going for Newness, newness, newness. Two aces, the fool, the empress, everything is new. New, 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 okay? So this is very, very good. All right, so one of you is kind of going back and forth. Should we, shouldn't we, should we, shouldn't we? And I think it's the one that's kind of holding back emotionally, all right? Okay, so they're being a little bit wishy-washy. It's a bit of a cold feet situation. I feel like they just need a little bit more time. And they're doing the research and they're watching. And I feel like you're watching them too, okay? So we're keeping an eye on each other. See how things go. Like I said, feeling each other out. Two of Pentacles here. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So we're going back and forth, back and forth, right? So here's you crowning this reading. Beautiful, sexy Virgo, right? Looking at that offer, like, 
damn, yes, I want that offer. I feel like this person's going to make you extraordinarily happy, okay? Um, so Queen of Pentacles, right? Knowing your worth, knowing your value, and I think this person knows that too, and I think you respect this person, and I think he, he or she, whatever, <laughs> the masculine energy has this same uh, mutual respect for you, okay? So that is a beautiful place to start. This is going to be a very grounded um, situation. We're going to build from the ground up. We're going to take our time with this. And um, this keeps popping up. People are wanting long term around this time of year, apparently. Um, so that's very good, right? We're ready to settle down, get into the fall seasons, get warm and cozy. That's cool. All right. So Queen of Pentacles, you're able to take care of you and those around you flawlessly. And you're just... You're good, right? You're good. All right, so I feel like this is you in this situation. I feel like you want to shine the light on this situation, so to speak. Um, I think this person, you know, is your new beginning. I think this person's going to make you very happy. This is the happiest card in the tarot deck. This, again, is a new beginning. All right, new beginnings all over this reading, all over it. So we have the Sun card here, Leo Energy. So I think you're more hip to the situation, to your feelings about this individual than they are. They're coming to, they're a little bit slower. They're coming to terms. They're, they're getting it together here, okay? They are a little bit um, more emotionally blocked, let's say, than you are, okay? This is somebody in the warrior's pose. Maybe they've been stung pretty hard before. In the past and with this kind of energy they don't trust very easily that's why they're weighing things out they're feeling feeling you out and they're watching okay so they're a little bit still on the defense and they're not opening up as much as you would like at this point but I feel like they will seven of wands this is fire Aries Leo and Sagittarius in your hopes and fears, you do not want a tower moment. You don't want this to end, and I don't think it will. The way the two of you, the way this is working, the way your minds work, are very similar. Um, this is long game, right? Um, and two earth energies can easily build on solid foundations. So if anybody comes to try to knock your tower over and cause devastation and wreak havoc... It's not going to happen. So that's a beautiful thing. But this is in your hopes and fears. You don't want another ending here. You don't want to deal with devastation and drama and unexpected endings and things of that nature. And neither does this individual here. That's why his, his or her guard is up a little bit. All right. Um, so the outcome here. I feel like we're watching each other. I feel like the masculine's more watching you. To It's just a matter of can we trust the situation, right? Can we trust it? I feel like that's what this is all about. Just kind of doing their research. Weighing, weighing the pros and cons here. Waiting and watching. Feeling you out. That's fine. Page of Swords, this is Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is not in a creepy way, this spying. This is not in a creepy way. They just got to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that they can trust you and vice versa. But I think you um, are a little bit more, you know, enlightened to this situation um, than what they are. A little bit more in touch with your emotion, feeling like you can trust them. Um, so that's a good thing. Please clarify this page of swords for virgo hold on please clarify this page of swords for virgo for august 2019 please clarify this page of swords for virgo <laughs> the hierophant i told you this is solid solid as a rock that's what this love is baby right solid as a rock it's earth energy 
that we're dealing with. This is two people wanting solid higher levels of commitment. And look, look what popped out. The Hierophant, higher levels of commitment, Taurus energy. I feel like you're going to get some good news here, Virgo. Okay, passionate communication between the two of you. This person's going to open up to you. Okay, just give it time. Page of Wands, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Damn. All right, Virgo, let's see what the Romance Angels has to say for you. <laughs> this is an awesome reading. This is for Virgo, August 2019. What is going on here for Virgo? What is going on here for Virgo? For August 2019. This is for Virgo. What is going on with Virgo? What is going on here? Ooh. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is saying don't give up on this, okay? That's what this is saying. So this is a very strong law of attraction card. Keep the faith, all right? Stay optimistic about this situation. I feel like, like I said before, this person's been stung maybe even a little harder than you've been stung before in the past with past situations, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And I feel like that's why this person's feeling you out and watching the situation to make sure that this is long term. Because King of Pentacles type of energy wants long term. That's their nature. And so do you. All right, so that's why this person's got their guard up a little bit. They're still trying to release some shit from the past. And this is probably why this is up. They're, you know, still trying to turn their back on this and release it and move forward. So it's only a matter of time before they start opening up emotionally to you and start communicating with you more. All right. Um, like I said before, they're just trying to feel this situation out. But once this party gets started, it's going to progress very nicely. Um, just a little patience is required, Virgo, and I know you're very capable of that. Um, let's see. Yeah. I love this reading. This is a very good reading for you, Virgo. You've, you've met your match. That's another good title for this. Was that the original title that I was thinking? I think that was the original title. Okay. Also, Solid as a Rock is also a good title. <laughs> Virgo, this is an awesome reading. I wish I was a Virgo right now. So just give it a hot minute. And this person, don't give up on this. It's what this is saying. Let this person do their releasing and healing of a past situation and letting that shit go. That's why their defenses are a little up, you know. Just give it some time. They've got their eye on you. They've got their eye on the prize, girlfriends and boyfriends, okay? All right, Virgo, that is your August 2019 um, reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed giving it to you. And like I said at the beginning of the uh, video, you can now find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. So check me out there at Secret Tarot 1111. I'll leave all those links down below in the description box. You can find the schedule there so you know when your uh, weekly video is going to come out. You can also find all of this information in the About section of my channel. I go live um, every day but Saturdays around noon eastern standard time not always exactly noon but around noon um what else hmm. next week i will be working on the how do they feel about you readings for august 2019 so check that out virgo excellent reading i hope you have enjoyed it you have a beautiful week and take very good care of yourself and god bless